Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on Minecraft 1.19 on the Demiurge server. I'd like to remind you to subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you know when I produce more videos. The mob farm that we approved last time is working well. Also, I didn't know you could shoot with your left hand. That was something I stumbled across. But needless to say, you can see I have 26 levels. I've been in the process of gathering XP, gathering levels, using that to enchant, mostly using books, the items, tools, and armor that I have. One of the things that this has shown me is I need to find a better way to get books. So this means I'm going to spend a large amount of time working with villagers. And that's never easy. So we shall see how that goes. I'm not exactly starting from scratch because I have moved several villagers into a area that I plan to use for keeping the villagers and trading with the villagers. I'm using minecraft minecarts so all the books I've acquired but so I'm going to continue this process of enchanting and making multiple sets of armor because I want replacements in case these get lost but I'm also going to work on adding more villagers and seeing if I can get a zombie over here to, to zombify them and then cure them. I'm going to work on that off camera and when I come back I will tell you how much of this villager trading I've actually got done. I'll be back in a bit. I have just converted all my villagers to zombies so then I can go about healing them. Now let's just see if I can get this gentleman in a minecart. And by gentleman I'm referring to the zombie that is running around inside that has zombified my villagers. He's running loose. So I have to try to put him in a minecart and then I'll go. slide him over to make him one of my villagers. He I went, think he's a no, there he farmer. Is. I actually went and got the farmers from the pumpkin farm and sent them over. Luckily I sent two at a time because the iron golem killed one of them and the other one got through. I don't know why I forget that there are iron golems all along that hallway that the train track comes through. Railroad. I need a power source. Like a switch or A bunch of redstone. I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm going to make a button and go try this again.
Okay, let's see if I can bring him out. Got him. So... That's all of them. So now let's see... So now all I need to do is move these two villagers into place and I can put composters in front of the farmers so that they can still be farmers although they've been traded with so they're not going to change at all but then I can put them in they're a lot easier to move not villagers are easier to move because they don't attack you I just need to move these guys to get them in place and then I can worry about getting the stuff to cure them. So let me go work on that. The villagers are in their position and they have been cured of being zombies. So now I want to increase the size of this room and it's time for time lapse. Okay, I have an axolotl, two of them actually, and I'm going to put them in my aquarium. There's lots of fish, so they should run around and eat the fish, and let's see how this goes. Come on. Why can I not let him go? 
There we go. Let me out. There we go. So there's the yellow one. And the other one is the brown one. And they are swimming around just fine. We'll see how this long this lasts. I don't know if they'll eat the other fish or not. They don't seem to be. Cool. We'll see how this goes. I am back and we're, look at how cute the villager is. I'm in the process of moving some villagers, new ones, in. I've also worked on the area and have branched it out with a whole bunch of different lecterns. And so I'm just going to bring in each of these guys. Oh, he grew up already. It's surprisingly difficult to get the villagers from where they're being born all the way to my base. I mean, you've seen the track. I just think the problem I have is getting them into the minecart. I guess this seems kind of obvious when I think about it, but maybe I should be breeding them here. We'll have to work on that. See you in a minute. I am back and our acolotls, <laughs> that's obviously not what they're called. <laughs> okay, whatever they're called, they're no longer in here. They weren't named, they weren't named, I had not tagged them, and so it looks like they despawned. Axolotl is what they're called. So now I want to show you it's actually on this side. I have cleaned this area out and am considering doing free range villagers. This villager obviously found a one of these what is he? He is a cartogra cartographer. And if I let all of these guys out, in theory they would come back to their stations. This is another guy who... These two, they're not in their spots, were bred by giving these guys bread and helping them breed so then I created over here um, a lot of beds areas where they can come down here for safety I may need to add the walls back between them so that if they come in one they're not suddenly scaring everybody there well then maybe, oh, maybe that maybe not Either way, I'm considering doing free-range villagers and seeing how that goes. The only thing I can think of is that will make zombifying them and curing them rather difficult. So, I haven't quite decided. As you can see here, I've put glass over these villagers. I can't touch them, but neither can anybody else. And I can pull the pull the glass up. So if I get a zombie in here, he will automatically turn these guys that are not covered. But these guys that are covered would not be affected. So that's the plan. But I have not decided on the final outcome.
Hello, and I am back, and I have been working on my sorting system. So now it sorts all of these items into the chests below. And I think that's going to help me find stuff a lot better. It's also giving me some more ideas on, how, on another sorting system. But meanwhile, I also want to show you some changes that I made to the villagers. I have captured my free-range villagers and put them into minecarts. I now have Lure 3 and Luck of the Sea so I can make uh, some good fishing rods. And this guy has Respiration 3. And then we've got Flame. And then this one is Unbreaking 3, which is really important. Smite 5. Curse of Binding. And Efficiency 3. Well, that's not... I would want Efficiency 5. And the other thing is, these guys give Bottles of Enchanting. And I think I also found... Uh, the Fisherman gives fish. Um... There was another one that I liked. No. 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 Uh, no. I don't know why these guys won't clear their trades. No matter what I do, they just don't clear their trades. These guys are the armor. Nope. Nope. This guy will not take a profession, no matter what. I don't know why. Chanting. And there was one gentleman who takes... Um... Maybe it's this guy. Name tags. Expensive, but name tags. Which I plan to use a lot. But I think that's all I'm going to do for today. So I am signing off. I hope you enjoyed what you watched. And until next time, thanks for watching. And goodbye.